So we're, he's now a business owner. We're going to put him through what I would do with a normal person applying to work for me and put him through the ringer. Hey, how's it going, man? Welcome to Third Street Barbell. Hey, what, uh, what can I do for you, brother? Yeah, just uh, looking to catch a pump. Maybe uh, hear about memberships or something. Oh, nice, man. Yeah, sorry. I'm on my thousandth, thousandth shirt uh, folded. My manager works me pretty hard. Pays me about $5 an hour. But, you know, anyways... That's pretty weird. Uh, I didn't want to be your therapist. I wanted to buy a gym membership. Oh, okay. Uh, so what type of stuff do you do, man? Like, uh, yeah, what are you into? Yeah, CrossFit. CrossFit? CrossFit. Yeah. Sorry, How about man. you? You too? You uh, also do CrossFit? Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, lend me your ears. I believe that's Shakespeare. And then in Robin Hood Men in Tights, the people take off their ears and they throw it at the guy talking. 17. Week 17, Third Street Barbell. We might be two weeks out. Last we spoke, we talked about the equipment we were getting. That equipment's got here. Before the equipment got here, we had to get the finishing touches. So floor and paint were done first month. Accessories were done second month. Jim had this beautiful trim going on. Now week 13, 14, 15, 16, is when we're putting the icing on the cake before we put the sprinkles and the cherry. I don't know if sprinkles and cherries goes on cake, but you could have like a cake Sunday. We wanted mirrors. We're trying to build this place out to fit any lifter. Sure, a lot of you know me for like powerlifting, but that's just kind of because I fell into that world via work. My background's just in lifting weights, sports, strength and conditioning, and even many of you know, been here a while, I don't love competing. Uh, I don't love the sport of powerlifting. I like squat bench dead. I like to coach people. I like to get strong. I like to help people. I like to train for performance. I don't love the sport of powerlifting. Now, I'm highly involved in it, still, coaching people, all my friends, et cetera, et cetera. So we want to accommodate those folks. We want to accommodate the folks in the middle. I like to smash some weights, hit a big squat, get a little quad pump, maybe get a little cardio, head out of here. And the people maybe over here. We just kind of want to look a little bit better, feel a little bit better. They're over the big chain gyms. They're maybe over CrossFit. The class thing's fine, but they want to do their own thing. They don't want to run to the corner back every day. They maybe just want to do some clean and jerk. So trying to fit what a, what a powerlifting high-level competitor. That's what it looks like in the wild. Maybe a, a, a power builder wannabe. And then maybe some folks that just want to look a little bit better. Maybe, maybe on the other end, there would be like a, a life fitness aesthetic builder like power builder still means you're probably squat bench and dead pretty hard and you just catch biceps afterwards but there's something over here where they're probably more um, mentally balanced than the rest of us so long story short we got some mirrors we got some machines we got some cables but to get these mirrors up i don't know if you guys know but our bill's running a little high here we're pushing the six figure mark on cost so not that we're cutting corners anywhere. We literally haven't. We've spent that money well spent on high quality stuff and, and what we think needs to be in a 2020 gym. To be a hardcore facility, you don't have to be dirty and ugly. You can be strong, handsome, and smell good. So we didn't want to spend three thousand dollars on gym mirrors i don't know why they're that expensive i think the glass is thicker and then like they're just longer cuts um so we found like full length mirrors and we're going to kind of put them together ourselves which we've done everything this whole time the issue is kyle really yeah. the guy's strong and he's used to throwing things really hard and fast he, he doesn't have the delicate touch that i have so we're trying to put the first mirror on board and he sledgehammer dropped it into the floor. Unbeknownst to him, he cracked the living shit out of it. Now when I turned to then see how bad the crack was, I don't know if he's, you know, mind wasn't in the right spot, but then he twisted the mirror. And so now we broke dead middle of the entire mirror. Now luckily again, we didn't spend $3,000 on that mirror. We just spent a couple hundred dollars. No love lost, no love found. Does that phrase fit? Either way, we got three new mirrors. So then, busted mirror. Okay, not a big deal. Me and Jimbo framed the rest of them. 
onto what I think is one of our most unique features of the wall, or the gym, which is our wall. We're trying to have kind of a, a Sacramento is really into food. Um, a lot of people don't know where Sacramento is. We're just east of San Francisco. We're the capital of California. We have a lot of culture here because one, we're one of the top most diverse cities in, in the nation uh, for humans. Uh, two, we're the capital, so a lot of people travel here. Three, 70% or something of all food and produce of the entire nation is grown in the Central Valley and we're in the Central Valley of California. So downtown here is flourishing like crazy and we have a bunch of food, a bunch of coffee, a bunch of really cool mom and pop shops that have put a lot of time into their branding, into their craft. Where that's something I admire. I don't really care what you're into, but I want you to be really into it and at least try to do well. Not everybody can execute on that level, but I think we have. So we're trying to get a vibe here, an industrial, modern, warehouse vibe, raw steels, metals. And so one of our biggest walls, an accent wall for my interior designer friends, typically you just accent a wall with a color. You have a bunch of gray walls, maybe light uh, eggshell walls, and you just put a little maroon wall to give the, the room some flavor. Our building is gray and brown. So my accent wall, I wanted to do metal. Now Jimbo thought we should do some rustic metal. So we added some rustic metal to our front desk and now is finding enough rustic metal to hit like a 12 foot by 35 foot wall, which we found, but the hiccup lies in that. We didn't have all 12 footers. So now these are decisions we're making on the whim. Whether you decide to try to make it totally uniform, but I think it would have looked weird, we would add rivets going around eight foot all the way across or my artistic mind wanted to more look like a patched up barn wall from 1900, which is actually where we got the metal. So that's where we kind of laid out. Not that many hiccups along the way. We got it all out. We got the boys here. We're gonna frame that thing out. Podcast room still on the way. Equipment showed up. Just doing some grown man Legos for a day, a couple hours, bang those out. We got to decide on our final touches because we have an insane amount of equipment. I don't know who's showing up. I think a lot of people are gonna show up. I think a lot of people want something different, more thought to detail, more thought to community. We were talking to uh, one of Marcus's friends uh, and they just casually said like, all five of you are gonna share a bar? Because to the normal person, you show up to the gym, you grab a bar and if someone's around, you're not gonna train with them. But sharing a deadlift bar with five to 10 people is commonplace in my history of lifting. That's what we do. I don't care if you pull 315 and I pull six, we'll just unrack it and cheer each other on. You're gonna take a break anyways. Might as well train together, look at each other, coach each other, help each other, encourage each other. So that's kind of the environment we're trying to build here, hence the good company. Don't know where I was going with that, but point being, I think people are gonna show out here. So we have, one, two, three, four, six racks now, two combo racks on the way, two comp bench presses on the way, three deadlift platforms, four weightlifting slash deadlift platforms, plus a full body circuit on the way this week. We'll give the full un un cut the ribbon unveil when things are sitting down pretty. Point being, we got a lot of stuff coming in real quick. Um, so the rest of the building, we're a little bit on a time crunch. Gyms crushed the bathrooms, finished. Front desk, finished. Me and Marcus and Connor put together the cables, finished, look beautiful. Um, we're gonna move some of these platforms to make them look pretty. All meanwhile, full apparel design, website design, uh, logistics of that world is going on in the background. So, busy week ahead. The boys are here to finish up some construction and old friends coming uh, that I used to deadlift with. Hopefully he'll help us a little bit. And I don't know, hopefully else, nothing else breaks, but everything kind of breaks. I think the worst was probably the mirror. Did we break anything else? Some of the metal sucked. That door sucks. We're gonna try to put it, there's lights under the doors. For some reason, this building, it's old. You're very outside. And not that we want to not feel like we're outside, we want to choose that by rolling up the gate. So we're trying to like, fill some crevices and things. But bathroom's done, main wall's done, we gotta frame it out, floor's done, we're gonna build platforms for these guys. Bada boom, bada bing, 3sb.co if you want first dibs on all the clothes launching. We're one week out from our launch. What month are we in? October 9th. 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Everything we do is pretty one-off, pretty limited. So we'll see what's around, man. I appreciate you guys for checking in. Maybe next video I'll be squatting. Or maybe I won't. 
I don't really know. Barbells are on the way. Appreciate you.